In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Time Machine, which is Apple's built-in backup utility to create a reliable backup of not only your Cubase projects, but of your whole computer. Time Machine is a really simple, elegant way to back up all of the data that's on your computer. But you'll need to know that whatever backup method you decide on is going to require that you purchase external hard drives. Hard drives have become so affordable that using things like DVDs and CD discs to back up onto just doesn't make financial sense anymore. Plus, the media is much more fragile than a hard drive is that is disconnected from your computer and sitting on a shelf somewhere. So I'm going to show you the basics of setting up a time machine disk. So I have purchased a blank external hard drive and I'm going to plug that hard drive directly into my Macintosh right now. There it is, I've just plugged it in, and this is what's going to happen. When you purchase a new hard drive and you plug it into your computer, it's probably not going to be readable by your Macintosh right off the bat. And that's because most hard drives, if they come pre-formatted, are pre-formatted for a PC or a Windows-based computer. Uh, this particular hard drive that I've purchased doesn't have any file system on it at all, so it needs to be formatted or initialized. So when I plug it into my Mac, I immediately get this dialog box that says the disk you inserted is not readable by this computer, and I can either ignore that message or I can eject it, but what I want to do is initialize it. So I'm going to click on the initialize button. That's going to immediately launch the disk utility, and now I can click on that hard drive and here's a trick. This is really, really important. Instead of just going to the erase button and formatting the volume, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the partition button. And then on the volume scheme, I'm going to select one partition. And then I'm going to click on the options button. Now this is what's so important, is that the type of partition map that you use to format your hard drive will have a lot to do with what type of computer it's going to be readable on. So I've got three different choices. The GUID partition map is the default and there's also Apple Partition Map and Master Boot Record. A lot of times when you purchase a pre-formatted hard drive, it will be formatted for PC, and therefore it will be using the Master Boot Record partition scheme. So if you don't know which one of these to use, you can click on the default button or just make sure that the GUID partition table is selected. Then click on OK. Now you can give that volume a name, and I'm just going to call it Time Machine. HD1, and the format is automatically set up for me to be Mac OS extended and journaled, and then I'm going to click on the apply button, and then click the partition button. Now as soon as this hard drive is partitioned and formatted, sometimes the Mac OS will give you a prompt if you want to use it as a time machine disk or not. I actually have that disabled on this particular computer, and that's why I'm not seeing that prompt as soon as I format a hard drive. So instead, I'm going to go to Time Machine by closing Disk Utility, and then going to my Apple button and clicking on System Preferences. Now you'll locate Time Machine in the system row, and when you click on Time Machine, you'll notice that it is currently off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm going to click on Select Disk, and I'm going to select that new Time Machine backup hard drive that I formatted and partitioned, and once I have it highlighted, I'm going to click on Use for Backup. And believe it or not, that's all there is to creating a Time Machine backup hard drive. Now, if you want to learn more about how to use Time Machine to back up all of your computer's data, I would recommend watching Core Snow Leopard from Mac Pro Video. This is a great video by Francesco Schiavone, and Chapter 14 of that title is all about how to use Time Machine not only to back up, but also to retrieve your data. So using Time 
time machine is a really, really great and simple method to back up all of your computer data, including your Cubase data. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to manually configure your backups, and that has a few advantages over the time machine method.